let's look at the where clause in where clause we can use it as a filter so we can specify a condition and we can filter results from a table or records from a table uh, that we get in the output and the syntax for that would be after the form after the from clause we can specify the where clause and this is a general uh, order in which uh, the sql clauses can be listed so for where it's right after from and here is one example let's say if we are selecting records from the table roster which has a column school id uh, we can filter the roster table such that uh, we can get only those school ids that have a value of 52 that's this is one way where we can specify where school id is equal to 52 in addition to this we can have several other types of filters one is specified here which is uh, which looks at the start name uh, which looks at the character at the beginning characters at the beginning of the last name so if the last name starts with m capital m small c or if it starts with capital m small a small c then though only those results would appear in the output let's look at this uh, in working in the query here we have the same table we have the roster table uh, which has these values and it has these two columns last name and school id and now down here we can write the a statement select star from roster where school id is equal to 52 what this will do is it will filter only filter out the school ids that are not 52 and only those school ids that are 52 would appear in the output so only these two records buchanan 52 and coolidge 52 should appear in the output so let's run this and see what we have in the output so as you can see we just have two records in the output which have a school id of 52 and that was what we had mentioned here and we can try the other filter where we are going to look at the uh, beginning letters of the last name so if the last name starts with a d as in adams or if it starts with the last name b as in uh, buchanan then only those two letters uh, only those two uh, names or records with those two names should appear in the output now if we run this particular uh, query with that filter in the where clause we get only these two names which are adams and buchanan that uh, match this condition that we have specified Adam starts with the letters A, D, and Buchanan starts with the letter B. Let's comment this out. And there's one interesting uh, feature with the where clause that we can use it. If we try to use the inner join, let's say we are trying to inner join a roster, a roster inner join team mascot on school ID, the output that we'll get are going to be the records that have the same school id in both the uh, tables for example here we have adams adams has a school id of 50 and if you scroll down the mascot jaguars has a school id 50 as well therefore we have adams and jaguars in the output and those school ids that do not match are not there in the output for example 53 from team mascot is not there in the roster and therefore that's not in the output as well as 77 that's in the roster table is not in the team mascot and that's therefore not in the output interestingly this same feature of inner join we can uh, see if we can get it using the where clause so uh, if we uncomment this one and this line what we have is we have the school id we have the same roster uh, last name we are getting the last name from the roster table and we are getting the mascot column from the team mascot table 
And what we are trying to do is roster cross join team mascot and we are putting a condition. So what this condition does is it works like a inner join because we are matching explicitly the school IDs from both the columns uh, from roster and team mascot. So if they match only those records will appear in the output. So if we run this, uh, there is an error. So let's see what the error is. Expected end of the output would be okay. So we have this team mascot dot school. Oh, uh, here we have where roster dot school ID is equal to team mascot dot school ID. That looks fine to me. The if we scroll up, what we have in this particular case just trying to see if there is any other uh, point i'm missing here so roster dot school id uh, roster cross join when we run this if we run this entire thing run okay so there we are we have only those uh records in the output where the school id from both the tables roster and uh roster and mascot match and we have the same output as we did before if you try to run this with in the earlier case we when we did the inner join we didn't have that school id table so if we run it without that we would get the same output as we had before so that's uh, how the where clause works if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video until then please like share and subscribe thank you for your support